Hi, my name's Jill Shaw. I'm the premises manager at Frederick Goff School, which is a comprehensive school in North Lincolnshire. I started working on the BSF, which is Building Schools for the Future, and we knew that we were slightly below the average uptake on pupils having lunch, so we started to look at different ways that we could encourage pupils to start and eat a healthier meal at school. We have just under 1,200 pupils on roll, and we're probably feeding now between five and 600 pupils per day. One of the things is that we have 250 pupils that are year 11s that are given the privilege of being able to go off site. So it's actually a higher percentage than you would first think against the number of pupils on roll. My name is Jane Carr. I am the head cook and at Frederick Goff School in Scunthorpe. We already dealt with CRB Cunningham's with the tills um, and then the headmaster decided he wanted to try um, the pre-order system, um, which is what we've done. Uh, I did quite a bit of research looking at pre-order units, just did some surveys with the pupils and we did it across every year group and asked basic questions about the sort of food that they wanted to eat and what put them off eating and also what they were looking for. And the one thing that came across with every year group was they hated queuing. So that was the driver then to start and get everything else moving. We have six pre-order machines dotted about school um, for the pupils to pre-order for that day or to pre-order for the next day at lunchtime. Um, and we have one reval machine where they can put the money on. So around school there are six pre-order units so that the pupils are never that far away from one and the idea was to try and get them to order the food the previous day so that then the kitchen and everybody else knew what they were starting to get ready for that next day's lunchtime service. Pupils can order their meals either using uh, their finger which has certain points on it for recognition or on a prepaid dinner card. They then order the meal that they want, they take out a receipt number which has a date on it and a number so they know then at lunchtime if they've got past the king, they've got their ticket in the hand, they'll go to that counter, hand it over, the, the lunchtime staff will check, make sure that it's in date and then the food's handed out. What we also wanted was, because we are a community school, we wanted our pupils to be involved. So we have uh, dinner reps that help to give out the food so they do things like the grab bags, they hand out the puddings, they help on every single counter. So it was about the pupils taking ownership of this being their school as well. So that means then that from the pre-orders, the amount of wasted food has really gone down, which again makes sure that it's more profitable. We've, for about six years, we've tried to discourage money coming into school and so pupils are encouraged to put money on it or parents are through various other means. We also have a revalve machine. So moving on to the pre-order, we're sort of taking that then another step further. The use of the biometric has helped because it's quicker at the cash points as well as the pupils are going through. I think the one thing to bear in mind here was that we were adamant that we were going to do this despite being told that nobody else had ever, had ever gone as far as we were going with the pre-order things. We went to a couple of other schools, one was in Sheffield and all they did was a really limited amount of produce. So we needed a lot of support and we got a lot of support. Um, Dave, if he still works for the organisation, was absolutely superb. We hit a few issues right at the beginning. The support we got from that was tremendous. For us, what it's brought is an increase in school meals by something like 75%. So we know that pupils are using it, we know that they like it, and service really is all done and dusted within about 25 minutes, and that's 500 pupils, which is fantastic. It's made our life easier because we don't have to guess anymore with the children, pupils, pre-ordering. We know exactly what we're dealing with, how many to cater for, and more importantly, what they the, the want to eat. When we come back after this half term, we're now taking the even more dangerous or adventurous step, step of that every single meal will then be on the pre-order. So far, we haven't put down what we call the traditional offer, which is the meat and two veg or the vegetarian. 
um, purely because that allowed some flexibility, but that will change in June when the pupils return to school. The students love it. They just, it's the staff and us older people that have struggled with it more than they have. And I think if we took it away now, there'd be uh, a mutiny. I certainly recommend this system to anybody. We would definitely recommend CRB Cunninghams to other people and hopefully it would have the same end results that we've had, which is an increase in lunches and therefore revenue generated.